Now, a year later, the FDA has concluded um, removal of menthol cigarettes from the marketplace would benefit public health in the United States. But they are now considering a possible ban or restrictions on menthol cigarettes and are not sure how they will proceed. Even though the FDA is in the exact place where they started, menthol cigarettes are bad, but they're not sure if they should do anything about it. Cigarette companies have always been master marketers. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And this is just one area. It's, it's the, the menthol cigarettes that may be appealing more group to certain groups, to younger people. But, I mean, let's not forget the cool man. I mean, cools are menthol. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What bothers me is it, they really seem to be targeting kids because you, you're, the tobacco company, they're not allowed to put fruit flavors or candy yeah. flavors into cigarettes, but the menthol flavor is what that's pretty much a candy for. flavor. Yeah. That's a mint flavor. A and mm -hmm. almost half of kids that smoke Go for the menthol. It, it, sh it is impressive. So Menthols make up about 34% of the cigarette market. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this does get back to individual rights, though. There are going to be a yeah. lot of people out there who say, this is what I want to smoke. Mm -hmm. I, you don't have the right to legislate right. what I smoke away from me. That is my personal right. I take, and again, I'm not justifying yeah. it, but again, I know people, th there's I a fine line here between... You know, it's all about personal choice. Are but putting, the problem you know, is, laws on where you can, you know, bans on where you can smoke cigarettes, and there's a lot of buildings that you can't smoke cigarettes in the, at all. The only problem is somebody that chooses to smoke, that's fine. But the problem, the consequences go beyond just them. Mm -hmm. You know, they rack up huge medical bills, and they don't pay for it. You know, everybody else pays for it with higher premiums. Sixty thousand people a year pay for it, but with their lives that don't even smoke, just from secondhand smoke. So that's the one thing. It, it's and not it just usually individual. Starts. Yeah. When people are younger, nowadays, we need to get the message out there, whether it's menthol or non-methylated, smoking is one of the worst things you can do for your health. Some states, they're taking extreme measures, trying to get people to quit. Check out this controversial PSA. It's from the New York City Health Department. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what shows me how naive people are about what smoking does to your health is our producers before this show said, oh, we have this really impactful PSA. That is very impactful. But when you work in medicine, you see that every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are people suffering from COPD or emphysema. And when that occurs, literally the, the smaller airways in your lungs are essentially destroyed. And as they slowly are destroyed, your ability to exchange oxygen is, is compromised. Your ability to take a normal breath is compromised. Every waking moment of your life, you're literally struggling for breath. It doesn't kill you over a day. It doesn't kill you over a month, over a year. It's years of just pure living, quote unquote, hell for a lot of these people. A, and it's all due to cigarettes. That's a pretty powerful PSA. When I saw that, I, I flashed back to my grandmother. She, she lived like that for years, and now she's gone because of smoking. And it's, it's just a... I mean, that's very, yeah. very huge impact, yeah. but it's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and, and of course, you know, the, the main cause, the vast majority of, of emphysema is caused from smoking mm -hmm. yes. because of the 4,000 different chemicals in cigarette smoke. And, mm -hmm. you know, more than 90% of the people that die of emphysema is simply because of smoking. And I, it's not just your lungs. Yeah, it, right. It affects your blood vessels, mm -hmm. your skin. You age quicker. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of encouraged. I was reading about this last night, and I, my daughter was is there at the house. She was studying, too. And, and I asked her, I said, you know, she's a senior in high school. I kind of asked her if, if a lot of kids at her high school smoke. And she's like, you know what? They really don't. I mean, she said there's a really small group that kind of does. But mm -hmm. most of the kids, I think, at least at her high school, are smart enough not to pick it up.